Hello and welcome to this week's 7 News. Our annual Football Academy has started, but don't panic, it's not too late to join. There's still one week left of football fun. So if you're age 7 to 19 and you would like to take part next week, please send an email to community at jesushouse.org.uk. Now the Academy runs from 10am to 2pm every day from tomorrow, Monday the 18th, to Friday the 22nd of June. So do get in touch if you want to be a part of it. Also, if you're a junior coach and you're able to support us this week, starting tomorrow to Friday, please get in touch. We would love to have you with us. It's community at jesushouse.org.uk. As well as the Football Academy, we're also running a music school, which runs from the 18th to the 22nd of August. That's this week, starting tomorrow. It's available for children between the ages of 10 and 16 who would like to get to grips with a musical instrument. Now they have a choice of the saxophone, the bass guitar, the drums, keyboards or vocals. It costs £50 for the entire week. Now if you know anyone that might be interested in getting involved, please send an email to community at jesushouse.org.uk or you could call the church office on 0208 438 8285. Are you married? Yes? Well let me challenge you. Tight Nuts, the marriage ministry here at Jesus House, is coordinating a 30-day prayer challenge, Pray Your Way to a Better Marriage. Now we know there's power in prayer, so let's pull on that power. From the 1st to the 30th of September, we will be praying for our marriages. Join us. You pray for your marriage, I'll pray for mine. Simple. Prayer guidelines will be available on our Twitter and Facebook page, and all you have to do is pray. So, are you up for the challenge? Go on. I know you can do it. Oh, and don't forget to pick up one of these, well, two. Covering my wife in prayer, covering my husband in prayer. Very good place to start. Let's do this. Have you ever noticed how some of us sit in the same seat week after week after week? Yes, I know, I'm guilty. But that's not the point. The point is, have you noticed that someone who normally sits beside you hasn't been in church for a bit? If you have, please fill in an Angel Network card. By filling in this card, you enable our team to get in touch with them and check up on them just to make sure that they're okay. It's part of being our brother's keepers. Sharing Jesus is a wonderful course, an opportunity in the context of the 21st century to know how to share your faith. It makes you more assertive. People in London are desperately um, looking for genuine answers to life and they want to find life. Wherever you are, just walking down the street, this is a great way of just understanding more about what the Bible says and how Jesus tells us to engage with those around us who don't know him. We need to be equipped and you know, strategically trained to meet um, the contemporary challenges. This training is very useful for people who come from overseas. I would encourage people to get involved in sharing Jesus. It's a fantastic resource with an amazing amount of new information. It's something that amplifies something which is already inside. This is cross-generational evangelism at its best. Speaking to people about Jesus, that it is not so much about winning the soul, but introducing Jesus to them. It's, it's also important to find new words of communicating the gospel so we do not scare people away, but we engage with them and they, they feel at ease. You might feel like God can't use you in evangelism uh, and you'd be wrong. And so that's why we've created this resource to encourage the church uh, so that you can be more confident in sharing your faith. Um, we want to equip you and we want, to, we want you to see God moving in the lives of people in your communities. That's it for this week's 7 News. If you need any further information on anything you've heard on the news today, please visit the Jesus House website where you can watch 7 News again. Have a fantastic week.